Hello, today I'm going to share with you the basic concept of the guided wave radar level transmitter. I will show you how the radar wave travel from the level transmitter reference point to the liquid surface via the level probe. And at the same time, I will share with you how the signal or echo waveform move across the time travel. Okay. First, the radar signal will be generated by the level transmitter electronic board, as you can see here. All right, and then you can see the curve of the signal travel. Then, the signal will again travel slowly and reach this reference point, and then you can see the curve is moving this way, and then one of the radar signal will bounce because here is a reference line. There is a surface of the tank top, tank top detected. Okay, and you can see the waveform is moving this way too. And then this signal will bounce back and reach the level transmitter electronic board and it detects there is a signal radar signal and then you can see there's an echo this echo we call it reference echo okay or reference signal or reference curve okay <clears throat> which is represented by this reference line okay this is a reference line near to the <clears throat> the flange of the level transmitter and then the radar signal will continue to travel across the level probe and you can see the signal or the waveform moving this way okay and then it continue to move until it reach the liquid surface then you can see the echo or the radar signal bounce back because here there is a liquid surface okay the signal bounce back due to the difference in density or dielectric constant. Okay, then you can see the signal bounce back. Okay, we continue to move back to the level transmitter, and this radar signal will continue to move down across uh, through the level probe. Meanwhile, we can see the waveform continue to move in such a way. Okay, then it will continue to move. Then you can see the this signal when reach the end of the level probe, it will travel back to the level transmitter in this manner. Okay, so this liquid surface signal, which was bounced back by the liquid surface, will reach the level transmitter electronic board, and this signal will be detected. Hence, you can see there is a liquid echo here. This echo or the curve of the signal is represented by the liquid surface. Okay. Then this remaining signal will continue to travel all the way back to the level transmitter and detected by the level transmitter electronic board. And you can see the echo is formed here. This is called the probe and echo okay okay this is the measurement for the level transmitter okay for e and h or andra hauser parameter you need to set the f e l n f is a full calibration e is the empty calibration l n stand for probe length okay this is a reference line the reference line is where the line from the flange of the level transmitter. This is where the signal bounces through the reference line. Okay, this is called reference point. So from this reference point all the way to here or 0% or 4 milliamp, we call it empty calibration. And then the length or the measurement from this 0% to 
this 100% line or 20 milliamp is called full calibration. So this is a minimum, this is a maximum range or span. Okay, this is a probe length. Okay, it's the length of the probe. Okay, this is a travel distance or we call it ulage. Ulage is the length from the or the distance from the reference point to the liquid surface. And the opposite of the travel distance or ulage is water level or sometimes we call it fillage. The fillage is actually come from the word fill, fill with water, okay? It's measured from the bottom of the tank or vessel all the way to the water level, okay? Between the reference echo and probe end echo, this is a probe end, uh, sorry, the probe length. And then between the reference echo to the liquid echo, this is a ulage, okay? That's it.